checking on their mental health and what discussions are families having at home. New at 6 tonight, 13 News reporter Mary Sugden has our story. And while I was watching it, I was thinking, like, my first thought was, was this from a movie or something? Because it looked really crazy and really unbelievable. Disbelief turning to worry. Feelings sparked watching this. It kind of made me a little anxious and gave me a little bit of anxiety. Yeah, same. It made me a little uneasy. This made me very stressed and very scared. Piling onto a year filled with pandemic fears and civil unrest across the country. I guess it's just been like a lot of change at once, and I don't really like change like that. So when a lot of change is coming at once, it can really give me a lot of anxiety. The girl's mother, Jessica, says her family has constant conversations about these national issues. I have always wanted to protect them. Well, how do I protect them? I protect them by engaging in conversation both with them, but also making sure that I am doing the work um, to, to make my little corner of the world better. When it comes to younger students, Nikki Tickner says her seven-year-old is unsure of what's happening and asks questions. I think he's trying to figure out why people are so angry. Tickner, like Oladapo, has regular check-ins and conversations with her children, but also recommends parents set the tone. This is a really good opportunity for for us as parents to model how we want our kids to to be in the world, but also, you know, to teach them of what you do when you're having all these feelings. Setting an example, being honest, opening lines of communication, three ways these moms hope to walk alongside their children during these days. For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 News. Both moms are not only parents. Jessica is a sociology professor with a psychology degree. Nikki has a master's in counseling and an extensive trauma training. Coming up tonight at 10, we sit down with a doctor who has more recommendations on what you can do to help your kids deal with anxiety and how you can help answer their questions.